What's going on guys? Bengal here coming back at you with another video today. A very highly requested rebuild just purely on uh, popularity of the Dallas Cowboys, I think. Obviously, if you look at the Cowboys roster, this is not really a team in need of a rebuild. So I'm very aware of that. Trust me, I am. But what I will say is, can we build up this team to get them finally over the hump? And now, I'll put my bias out on the table right away. I'm a Giants fan, but we're going to put that to the door and purely go for the success of the Cowboys as much as it pains my heart. But uh, we're going to see if we can have some fun with it. Maybe we re-sign Dak. Maybe we don't. That's going to be the storyline of this realistic rebuild. So even though it is going to be realistic, it doesn't mean it's going to be Jason Garrett, Jerry Jones simulator, right? So maybe I give Dak a contract extension. Maybe I don't. We'll have to see what quarterbacks are there in the draft and, and kind of make some executive decisions. Let's go ahead and see if we can uh, bring Jerry World a Super Bowl. All right. <laughs> but first, a word from our sponsor. But today's video is actually sponsored by Audible. To get a free audiobook and a 30-day free trial, head on over to audible.com slash bangle or text bangle to 500-500. Now I'll level with you guys. I haven't read a book in forever. I find it boring. I find it monotonous. I don't care for it. So Audible has actually helped fill the void. I've been listening to Belichick which is basically a deep dive into and kind of a biography on Bill Belichick inside the mind of one of the most successful head coaches in NFL history, if not the most successful head coach. You can essentially listen to these anywhere, anytime, on any device, and you can start listening with a 30-day Audible trial and your first audiobook are free, plus two Audible originals are free. You can visit audible.com slash bangle, or as mentioned previously, text bangle to 500 500. So this is the roster. Very interesting team. Very talented team, obviously. Pretty much goes without saying. They've got one of the most talented rosters top to bottom in the NFL. Got Tyron Smith, of course, in my opinion, the best left tackle in the NFL. Connor Williams, former Texas Longhorn great. As uh, Even though I hate the Cowboys, I am a big Texas Longhorn fan. Travis Frederick in here. Zach Martin, superstar development. Lael Collins. So this is a really good offensive line. Really good. Just got to develop Connor Williams along a little bit. Everyone's young as well. I mean, we're, we're golden. Now, when I say everyone's young, I mean on the O-line. The extension of the O-line, not quite as young. Jason Witten. He's 37. He's come out of retirement to play for the Cowboys. He's bald now. <laughs> he looks frightening. Uh, and I will say that he is maybe without question the worst commentator in the history of of professional sports. Mari Cooper at wide receiver uh, is great. Michael Gallup, we're going to get a lot of touches. I'm actually going to play him at wide receiver two. And then Randall Cobb can be that that uh, three in slot guy. Tavon Austin, deep threat as well. Um, I mean, there are some good players here. Cedric Wilson at a Boise State uh, could be a lot worse. And then Dak Prescott. I think we're probably going to rock out with him. He's, he's decent in the game. Obviously, 81, almost 82 overall. Star development, only 26 years old. It'd be tough to find a better replacement, so I imagine we're going to stick with, with Dak. Jameez Olawale's in here. It was a Cooper Rush, but we got Zeke. 94 overall, superstar, X-Factor, only 24 years of age. Um, he's looking like a mad scientist with the hair, but I'm, I'm down. Alfred Morris, Tony Pollard. Let me tell you, you know all about Tony Pollard if you've been watching my episodes of a Dolphins franchise where we play the Cowboys. He's basically Barry Sanders, so I think he's going to be sticking around. On defense, we got Leighton Vander Esch, Jalen Smith, and Sean Lee making up one of the best LB cores in the NFL. Although Sean Lee, probably on his way out. He's 33, only normal development. He'll be regressing. Now, will I be trading him? Absolutely not. Will we be looking to bring him back when his contract expires? I will say that's unlikely. I'm just going to let you know right now. Uh, he has one year left. I just don't think it's in the cards, unfortunately, for Sean Lee. We're looking to get better. Maybe a one-year deal. We'll have to see, but uh, get Xavier Woods in there. Uh, George Iloka starting at strong safety. Definitely a position of need. The entire secondary I'd look to upgrade, really. Oh, well, our cornerbacks are cool. Byron Jones, superstar X-Factor. Chidobi Awuzie. Or Awuzie. I always forget. I think it's Awuzie. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm actually I'm positive it's Awuzie. Uh, Anthony Brown in here. Jordan Lewis. Michael Jackson. On the defensive line, Tyrone Crawford, 
Malik Collins, Christian Covington, who was a new signing, Antoine Woods, who's in here as well, Demarcus Lawrence, Robert Quinn was brought in, Randy Gregory, Taco Charlton, former first-round pick. They've got a lot of talent. Tristan Hill, of course, second-round draft pick out of uh, UCF with star or better development. I might actually look to start him. Malik Collins moves out. Christian Covington can be ro rotational. I'd honestly prefer Antoine Woods to Christian Covington, if I'm honest. I don't know. We'll leave, we'll leave it as is for now. But uh, that's going to be the team. I think this team has incredible potential. Brett Maher, uh, Chris Jones in here as well. Really, really good team. Tavon Austin returning. I would be shocked if this team doesn't compete for a Super Bowl right away. But let's go ahead and see what we can do. I will see you guys at the midseason mark. So 3-4 and four after the Week 8 bye is a little perplexing, if I'm honest. Eagles are two and six. Yet the Redskins and the Giants have combined to be uh, uh, eight win teams. They're eight and eight combined. I don't really know how that's the case. It, it seems like, and I'm a Giants fan, so I know how bad the Giants are. I would be shocked if the Giants had a better record than the Cowboys, really, at any point this season. Although, I mean, you never know. Uh, Byron Jones is a free agent at the end of the season. Amari Cooper is as well, as is Jalen Smith, Sean Lee, Jason Witten, Dak, Randall Cobb, Anthony Brown. Wow, there are a lot. How much money do we have? We have a decent bit. So Dak's going to be expensive is my only concern. He's going to be at least 20, 20.9 per year. Uh, we would sign him to a seven-year deal. There are just so many. Sean Lee wants a ridiculous amount of money, 17 on the cap hit? Are you kidding me? On one year, it's even more. I would give you... I'd give you like 10. He doesn't like anything about it. Well, you're asking for quarterback money as a 33-year-old outside linebacker. F figure it out. What does Jason Wooden want? Probably 20 million? I can't bring him back. There's just no way. There are so many impactful free agents coming up. Like, way more than I've ever dealt with before, probably. Uh, Lael Collins is back. Anthony Brown has re-signed. Jason Witten, Sean Lee, I'm out on. I might franchise tag Sean Lee. Jalen Smith is back. Amari Cooper wants more money. I haven't tried for Byron Jones yet. We still have more money to sign him. Three years is too few. I'd stretch this out to at least 31. I guess we'd have to up the salary probably. That's a huge bonus. But Byron Jones has returned. And now, the big one. Do we bring back Dak Prescott? 20 per year. I'm going to give him a max deal. I think it has to be more like 19-1 with a 13 salary. And Dak Prescott has re-signed for seven years. He better win a Super Bowl. Didn't make the playoffs. Madden Sim for you. I mean, you guys wonder why I complain sometimes. Finished 9-7, and seven, and the Giants won the division. If the Giants win the division, I will cut off my ears. I'm so confused. Uh, Dak had a good year overall, 3,800 yards, pretty good for him. 30 TDs, only six interceptions. That's a career year, so I guess the contract was worth it. Zeke, again, unbelievable. Average about six yards per carry, 10 touchdowns, 1,865 yards, almost 2K. Amari Cooper almost touched 1,000. Randall Cobb was solid. Michael Gallup was less than amazing, although it uh, looks like Randall Cobb got a ton of targets. Defensively, LVE had a great year in terms of everything. Tyrone Crawford had 19 tackles for loss. Unreal. We need to get more pressure on the edge, though, because seven sacks is not going to cut it. Um, two picks for Byron Jones led the team. Didn't really have any turnovers for the most part. Like, really very, very few. And then fourth best offense in the NFL, but where's the defense? Ninth? Fourth best offense, ninth best defense, don't make the playoffs? That seems unbelievable. Todd Gurley wins MVP. Zeke in there at number five. NFC Offense Player of the Year is Todd Gurley. Zeke at number two. Dak at number eight. Defensive Player of the Year is Corey Littleton. No Cowboys. Offensive Rookie of the Year is Kyler Murray. A lot of Cardinals in there. Tony Pollard at number nine. And then Defensive Rookie of the Year is Sean Bunting. I guess Sean Murphy Bunting now. But, uh, yeah, Bucks balling out a little bit, huh? So the Titans beat the Rams in the Super Bowl. What is this franchise? What is this league? Uh, Jason Witten's down to a 78. Sean Lee's down to a 79. So they regressed a lot. 
I'm cool with letting Randall Cobb walk as well. He's 30. We can do better. Who I cannot let walk is Amari Cooper. And that's just going to be a simple salary buff, I would imagine. And he would resign just under 10 a year on the cap it. And Amari Cooper is back. Sean Lee, I got to let him walk. Jason Witten, got to let him walk. I'm surprised he didn't retire. I don't know why he still wants to play. He's 38. Randall Cobb, I mean, it's... I just don't really see a way to bring some of these guys back. Now, Malik Collins, I would definitely consider. Even though I don't think we have to. He looks all right. So, uh, we'll give him we'll give him a three-year deal. He's 25. He should be returning for that. Malik Collins is back. And now we'll go uh, see what's available in free agency. This team was a total embarrassment and disaster in year one. We have 43 mil. We could bring in some playmakers. Maybe Miles Jack is in here, and that's one of them. A lot of running backs available. Melvin Gordon. Definitely don't need that, though. Kendall Fuller could be just the slot cornerback we're looking for. Although, I don't think I'm going to do that. Eric Ebron. Eric Ebron is definitely someone I want to pair with Dak. Four-year deal. I will up the salary. Let's make this about seven a year on the cap hit. And we are in business. 103 should be enough to bring him in. Yannick Ngakwe is also here. Would definitely fit the scheme better than Tyrone Crawford. This is a 4-3, ideally. Tyrone Crawford is not a 4-3 defensive end. Yannick Ngakwe would be a, a big addition. Miles Jack would be a big addition. Eric Berry would be a good bridge player. And what I mean by bridge is... Uh, think about what a bridge is, right? It's one point to another. And it's like, it's not the main solution... But it will uh, it will help ease the gap. So maybe I'll do that. Uh, also, someone got really pissed about me not signing Drew Brees before. Like, he's 41. If when he's hit the first time he's eligible in free agency, why would I sign him? Just because his name is Drew Brees and he's a Hall of Famer? It, that's not a good move for the future. Cooper Cup is here. That's that's the, exactly what the Dallas Cowboys need. He's He's looking bad. And with that uniform, he's looking like the boy in the striped, uh, striped pajamas. It's not a great look. All right, so interesting moves. Danny Trevathan has accepted on a short deal. I lowballed Adrian Phillips and Eric Berry. I just don't feel like we have the money to do that, so didn't want to do it. But we did bring in Eric Ebron. And the way that alters the new team is, again, I mean, Danny Trevathan's a bridge a player as well. I think it was a two-year deal I gave him to be an 80 overall. And I feel like this team... Like, it's a 4-3 setup, but then I see, like, Tyrone Crawford at right end. It just doesn't make any sense to me. It's kind of strange. T Demarcus Lawrence, did he have Superstar X-Factor previously? Did I not notice? I feel like I didn't make a point of mentioning it. Maybe. Uh, let's see here. I need to upgrade, uh, upgrade Tyrone Crawford. Upgrade's not a thing. Uh, he's all right. Is 30 is regressing. Trevathan's going to kick outside to left outside linebacker, obviously. He uh, should be pretty good in that role. He's played outside linebacker a lot in his career. Did so, I believe, in Denver and in Chicago. So I think he should be able to, to manage that move to the outside. He's an 83 overall in that role. Leighton Vander Esch, I'm sure, will eventually go to Superstar X Factor. I feel like he usually does when we see him in free agency. So I'd like to see him get that. Xavier Woods should be fine at free safety now that he has star development. He got that trait increased. Only 25 years old. Probably can check that off the list of needs. But I think we're going to go strong safety in the draft or some type of safety in the draft unless we kick uh, Anthony Brown out there. Not really sure. It just kind of depends what's available. Wide receiver, in my opinion, is a position of need. Cooper Cup has not made a decision yet. So I'd like to bring him in. Honestly, I really would. We are now 11th. Other teams want Cooper Cup. I feel like that'd be such a big addition to the team. Although I don't really feel like upping my offer. Only 25 mil. Some people say I manage my, my money. Like, I play it too carefully. But you guys don't understand. It, Madden 20 it is way tougher to have a lot of money to do things with. So, uh, I need guys to, to be able to... I need money to be able to re-sign uh, re our big guys later down the line. I know they took me a tough time to get out a long time. I'm struggling with my words right now. So this draft class is absolutely stacked. Here's the thing. It's stacked way later 
Like, there's some beasts up at the top, too. But there are so many, so many amazing players that are, like, fifth round and beyond. So I think we're going to have an incredible, incredible draft. I really want some of these guys near the top. Like, Angelo Page looks fantastic. Thurman Whittington looks very good. There are a bunch of really, really good players. I'm not sure where I'm going with this first pick. Because we need help on the edge. We need help at safety. We need help at wide receiver. Maybe even left guard. Linebacker. Defensive tackle. As there goes Thurman Whittington. So if I want this other edge, I'm going to have to trade up. Angelo Page, I'd have to trade up. I might try to make a move up here. Hop in front of the Raiders. Might have to make a move. It's pretty much not possible to move up. I kind of just got to watch this guy get drafted here. There he goes. Angelo Page, 77 overall. Pains me. There goes Dante Booth, for sure. We're just going to see what's available. Uh, it's going to be tough to trade up. Hopefully there's a beast here. If not, it's unfortunate. Top running back still available. Every other player I would have taken at this pick was just taken. So that's kind of sucky. So what I'm going to do here is what I used to do quite a bit in previous Baddens, which is trade down for more draft picks. And I I mean, that's a really bad package. 2, 5, and the future 7 for 17 overall. No thanks. Some interesting offers here, actually. I like this Colts one quite a bit, but I also like the Browns one. It's a future third. It's just, do I want higher picks now, or do I want a third next year? And I'm going to... I'm going to take the deal with the Browns. So it's a two this year, a three this uh, uh, this year, and a two next year in uh, in order to move down just like about 20 spots or so, uh, 25. Which I, I told you, this class is loaded down low, so I don't really mind doing that. First pick in the class, I think, is going to be Jerron Driver. He's a linebacker out of Pitt. He's got great top three skills. He's fairly athletic, good strength as well, and he is a 67 overall. Really, I thought he'd be a lot higher. Like 70, 71. Uh, it's a bit of a reach, 63 to 49. It's not anything crazy. 81 speed, 79 tackle, 74 block shed, 81 hit power. He looks pretty good. It's just he's not a zone cover linebacker. His coverage skills are horrific. I will say that, but could be a good understudy to Danny Trevathan. All right, another North Dakota State player in the draft. This one is Deron Jeffrey. Of course, that uh, edge rusher went really high earlier from there, but here he is. He's number 89. It's another reach, apparently. Draft him at 59. Let's see how good he is. 88 speed, 83 catch in traffic, 80 spectacular catch. Here's the thing. He doesn't know how to run routes, which is uh, tough. This has been maybe the worst draft I've had in Madden 20, and I really didn't think that it would be at all. Hopefully we make up for it later, but it's not looking good right now. We're going to take another linebacker. This one's Hayden Sharp. Now, this one, I think, is going to be better than the first linebacker we took. He's a cover archetype, and he's got good top three skills. Also, similar athleticism, so could be very good. 69 overall. There we go. Nice. Number 26 in the draft, so this is a first-round caliber player at number 81 overall. 81 speed, 76 tackle. He doesn't really shed blocks that well, but he's really solid in coverage. Not bad. Another potential understudy in that LB core. All right, we're going Lincoln Gordon. He's a safety out of Illinois. Hopefully he uh, works out for us here. Welcome, Lincoln Gordon, 68 overall, number 49 in the class. Another great pick. Drafted him at 91, 85 speed, 76 zone, 78 hit power. Is he going to be ready to start right away? Definitely not. But, I mean, how, how many rookies are uh, right out the gate? I'm going Corbin Harrison here out of Nebraska. Looks like a beast. Like, like he's very well-rounded in terms of combine player. Um... In terms of his combine grades, I should say. His top skills are good. I think he's going to be a good player for us. He's a 72 overall, ranked number 12. We took him almost 100 picks, or just more than 100 picks after his value at number 113. Normal dev is a little bit unfortunate, but 87 strength. Good run block and pass block right out the gate. Not really a run block finesse player, but very, very good overall. Same overall as Connor Williams. And I'm worried about simulating to the next pick because there are some players I want. Would you be shocked if I took another linebacker? It might have to happen. All right, we're moving up from number 145. And it's going to be a 5 this year, a 5 next year, a 3 next year to get a 4th round pick from the Lions and a 5th round pick, only one pick later than our previous. So I know it seems like a lot to move up, 
for you know a late pick here but uh trust me i'm pretty excited about these next couple picks and i don't want them to go off the board this one's going to be kamani douglas out of indiana state i know another linebacker but he looks fantastic he's a run stopper we don't really know about him in coverage hopefully he's really good and he is a 68 overall ranked number 55 we took him at 114 another solid selection 81 speed 81 tackle there's going to be i mean first of all we have great linebacker depth now uh, great special teams players there's going to be a fight in camp to see who emerges as the top lb to replace danny trevathan this one is going to be a safety out of bama amir stuckey fell all the way but he's got good pursuit hit power end zone coverage not an incredible athlete i guess but he's technically sound and he is number 56 in the class another uh, top two round guy of value took him at 146 87 speed 70 zone 79 pursuit 73 hit power another guy that it's going to be really close to see whether he emerges as a starting strong safety because we got another one we know he's moved him over and i think i'm going to trade up from a seventh to get a sixth because i really want this uh defensive tackle out of south carolina marquan chancy looks really 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 good i don't want him to slip or well he's already slipped i don't want him to uh slip out of my grasp so i might move up so it's a seven this year a seven and a six next year to move up to 161 which is uh, not too far from this pick actually it's the first pick of the sixth round and i am going to use it to take that defensive tackle marquan chancy provided he's still actually on the board and i imagine that he will be if he's not i'm gonna be sad he's i'm so sad why he's a seventh round guy i got the first pick of the sixth round and he's gone why dude that's frustrating i traded up why uh, who's taking him you bitch well now i don't care about this pick if i can get a future five a future four from the saints are you kidding me and the falcons 122 projected well i think the falcons are gonna be worse than the saints although the saints won't have a quarterback but they, they usually perform really well on sim uh, i'm gonna take i'm gonna take the eagles pick actually i know that's a division trade whoa it's a six round pick give me a break we're gonna move on and we are going to hopefully be successful i need to see where marco on chancy went and what his overall was I'm so annoyed. Like, who would take him way above his value like that or above his projection? Like, relax. He went at number 26 overall to the Giants. And look at the Adrian Schultz out of Toledo. 71 overall. That's crazy. So, uh, Chansey, he's a good overall for a uh, for a fifth-round pick. Like, he really isn't bad at all. But uh, we miss out on him. Let's see the top players in the class while we're here. Damn, a second round pick. Ty Mo I'm not even going to bother with that. Jacobs? Yeah, okay. I guess that's a family name, maybe. Uh, Angelo Page was the number two player in the class. Bunch of really, really good players. And uh, that running back that slipped to the second round was, was very, very good. Did we have anybody that was up near the top? Yeah, our fourth round pick was one of the best picks in the entire draft. Uh, we did all right, though, if I'm going to be honest. Like... It was really balanced across the course. Like in this year, 66 plus guys are not terrible, especially anything close to 70 is a good player. Number 72 is a top 15 player in the entire class. So, I mean, you guys get the way that works. Just wish we got a beast and we didn't get that. And everyone had normal development, which was a little bit unfortunate, but I, this was a really well balanced class. So I can't complain. So it looks like Gordon is the highest overall strong safety on our team. 85, 76, 78 for speed zone and then hit power. Amir Stuckey is a rookie. 87, 70, 73. So is Gordon better? I mean, he's slower. He looks like he looks like a better player. I'm gonna move Amir Stuckey over to strong safety. I guess he'll compete there to start. We'll see how that goes. Maybe he makes a special teams impact, gets some more skill points, becomes a higher overall, and then we kind of have no choice. But um, it's going to be close. It's going to be interesting. Bunch of really good backup linebackers. I'm going to move them all to, like, outside linebacker. Uh, like Douglas, for example. He's going to move to left outside linebacker. And then the other one of the other linebackers drafted on the inside is going to kick out to right outside linebacker. So Kamani Douglas goes up to a 72 overall. 
Driver goes up to a 70 overall, and Sharp stays middle linebacker as a 69. Pretty nice there. And we will see how this team progresses. It's a solid team. It really is. It's just time to perform. And uh, I guess I'm going to make our rookie that we drafted our slot guy because Cedric Wilson getting a lot of the touches is kind of whatever. Don't really care for that. So this is the team for season number two. I know it doesn't look very much improved, but guys are continuing to progress. We brought in Eric Ebron on the defensive side of the ball, brought in Danny Trevathan. Uh, we have some skill points. Xavier Woods is progressing. I don't really think this team's bad. It's just we still have some similar holes. Like, I still want to upgrade one of these edge spots. Obviously, it's going to be Tyron Crawford, who's the odd man out, but he can slide over to defensive tackle, although he is regressing. So, at 30 years old, not someone I'm going to think about bringing back too strongly, depending on when his contract expires, and it's at the end of this year. Probably going to let him walk and then look to uh, either get a better edge rusher through the draft or through free agency. You guys will see how low his overall slips to. Probably 76, 75 at the end of the year. But let's go ahead and simulate to the midseason mark. Resign some players. See how this team's performing. Ezekiel Elliott is a free agent. As is Awuzie. As is Xavier Woods. Tyron Crawford. And then his word, uh, Jordan Lewis. Good backup cornerback. I want to bring back the top three guys. Tyron Crawford, I'm less enthused about. All right, Xavier Woods is back, Shadobi Awuzie is back, and Ezekiel Elliott, Big Zeke, is also back. We are 6-1 and one in the NFC East. That's more like it. I didn't, like, force losses last season. I didn't force wins this season. We're just finally winning, and our only loss was a field goal victory uh, margin by the 49ers. Another classic matchup, Cowboys 49ers. Um, I was talking about classic matchups in one of my Dolphins franchise episodes. Not sure which one it was, but I was talking about it. I think episode five, maybe. I don't know when that's out or when you guys will see this or that. I think this is going up on the 4th of August. So let's go ahead and turn on auto scouting because I forgot to do that while I simulate. So yikes. There are some sick defensive tackles in this class. Damian Wadsworth looks like a beast. But also, my guy Rashawn over here also looks really good. I guess Rashawn, another family name. Okay, so even after a loss to the Cardinals in Week 17, we are a first-round bye squad, 11-5. and five. Okay, that's more like it. That's what I like to see. Dak was not great, but that means Zeke must have taken over. Ninth best defense in the NFL. Yeah, oh my god. Zeke first in carries, yards, touchdowns. Dak wasn't terrible. Pretty Dak Prescott numbers. Uh, but Zeke was on another level of monster. Receiving, you know, not too much going on there. Uh, Duran Jeffrey put up some good numbers. Almost 706 TDs. Blocking, of course, Travis Frederick allows no sacks. Neither did Zach Martin. Um, the squad is just really, really good on the offensive line. LVE led the team in tackles. Tackles for loss went to Malik Collins. Tristan Hill in there as well. Demarcus Lawrence was great. Finally, double-digit sacks, although I think Demarcus Lawrence should be putting up more than that. Interceptions, LVE had five. Byron Jones had two. I feel like defensive backs don't get enough interceptions in Sim. It's always the best linebacker that's getting the majority of them. But, um, let's go ahead and go to yearly awards. Did Zeke win MVP? He did. No Dak. NFC Offensive Player of the Year is also Zeke. No other Cowboys. Defensive Player of the Year, Bobby Wagner, Leighton Vander Esch at three. No other Cowboys. Deron Jeffrey is your Offensive Rookie of the Year. And then Defensive Rookie of the Year goes to Jamison McCarthy. I believe a linebacker that the Eagles took. At Lincoln Gordon, they're starting, uh, starting strong safety at four. Amir Stuckey, who was our backup strong safety at number six. And then Hayden Sharp, backup middle linebacker at ten. This is the upgraded team going into the playoffs, of course. In these rebuilds, we don't really play any games. You just see what the team that we've assembled can do. If you guys want to see actual gameplay, that is very prevalent and very terrible in Dolphins franchise. But it's a good-looking team overall. Kamani Douglas is coming along very nicely, linking Gordon up into the 70s. Things are looking good. I'd love for LVE to get Superstar X Factor at some point. That would be cool. But let's go ahead and, and beat the Rams, man. Advancing to the conference championship, and we lose 35 21. It's in the top left. And another unfortunate end of the season here. The first one was we didn't make the playoffs, so it's kind of whatever. But uh, Tyrone Crawford is available as the Browns beat the Eagles 31 13. He's down to a 76. I'm just not going to bring him back. Jordan Lewis would be our fourth corner. 
wants about three per year. I can do that very easily. Four year deal to your 30. I'll give you more salary. You got 35.3 left in cap room. Jordan Lewis is back. The rest, I'm cool. Uh, Kyle, no Kiero. And we'll go to free agency and see what is available. I don't really want anything in here. I mean, Melvin Ingram would not be a bad one-year guy. I mean, I could actually give him that. That's that's really not bad. And I, I'd even give him more. I can give him 11.1 .1 per year, 110, just to make sure we get him. And uh, that's not going to do anything bad. Mohamed Sanu's in here. We just don't... We don't need any of what's in here. There's nothing that's too good, which is unfortunate, but we'll just have to build through the draft, which we've done, you know, a thousand times before, and I always enjoy doing that. Love drafting. Melvin Ingram has accepted. Pretty big addition to the defense. Good looks. So this draft class is so good that it physically pains me. I cannot draft every single player in it. We pick at number 26 overall. Again, I would consider moving up for some of these beasts. I would consider trading some talent for some of these monsters. Like, there are some guys in here that are just stupid with how good they are. J.J. Duncan's a great cornerback at number 13. Bruce Knox is a stud receiver out of San Diego State. I almost want to do that. Um, but, I mean, Kelvin McGowan is a sick cornerback. 4.38 speed out of Western Michigan. There are so many beasts. I, I, I cannot take them all. I really, I can't. I want to. And there's, I mean, I don't know what to do, okay? Bullwear is a 77. Gross. I'm just going to have to skip to my pick and see what we can do. Uh, I, I don't want to trade up. If anything, I would trade down for more picks. But I, you can't go wrong here. I'm taking a defensive tackle here, and it's going to be Damian Wadsworth, and he's going to be a beast. Here he is, 76 overall, ranked in the top 10 of this class, hidden development. Of course, uh, if you're familiar with how to know before, I already know his development, and it's uh, underwhelming for hidden. But he's got good strength, block shed, finesse moves, speed, acceleration. His secondary attributes are fantastic. He's our highest overall defensive tackle. He's going to start right away. And um, there goes Rashawn Murphy, who's also a beast. But I am going to... Probably trade up for the first pick in the second round. I really don't want to miss a player. Here's Ricardo Ray, who's really solid. 75 overall running back in the second round. Wow, Dolphins killing it. I'm trading Connor Williams a four and a future four to the Minnesota Vikings for their second round pick right now. We drafted a left guard who I think is going to be able to take the place of Connor Williams very well. That experiment uh, proved to not work out. And, I mean, there are a bunch of really, really good options here. Like, Stacey Davis wouldn't be bad off the edge. But I'm actually going to go into the third round here. I do not want this player to slip. Robert Johnson. You think, hmm, he's got great top skills. He should go pretty high. He's young, out of Georgia, a huge SEC school. He should go pretty high. He blows up the combine. He should go pretty high. Robert Johnson, a third-round guy, is going to go in the second round here. And I don't even regret it for a second 77 overall, the number seven player in this class. As I said, this draft class was loaded. Hidden development, of course, already know what it is. 92 speed, only 70 zone, but 84 hit power. He's going to be the starting strong safety. He looks like a monster. Really, really good player. Love that pick. All right, uh, only real way to get this trade done and trade up was trade one of our linebackers, and that would be Sharp, who's a 70 overall. Kind of tough. It's pretty valuable, and a second-round pick, so we're not moving up a ton, but I had to make sure this player didn't get off the board. We have a ton of linebacker depth, just really didn't need him as much as I need an edge rusher, and I was so shocked that he was not off the board. Stacey Davis out of LSU. Welcome to the Cowboys. 70 overall, ranked at number 31, took him at 42. So he's a first-round caliber player that we took in the second round. 70 overall as well, so should be pretty good for us. And, um, yeah, I mean, it was tough to get rid of that linebacker, but I, th I think if any position could have gone, it would have been LB. So, I like the trade. And we'll replace him with another linebacker, Richard Poe here. 68 overall, ranked at number 52. We took him at 90. So, boom, big pick. And then uh, our next pick is in round four. And I think that's our last pick of the draft. No one is on my draft board still. What about for scouting guys? Anyone look half decent here? Mm, not really. 
Maybe I can get a third round pick, maybe even a second out of this one, though, if we trade down. Uh, no. Not at all. Trade down with the uh, Seahawks for fourth next year. Oh, this is 2021. No, it's not. Did I say 2021 or 2022? I had to say 2022, right? Yeah, all right. So this is the team for season number three. Looks very, very good in my opinion. Uh, probably another playoff berth. I wish Jeffrey was progressing a little bit more quickly, but he is not. So uh, is what it is. Leighton Vander Esch finally gets Superstar X Factor. Happens almost every time and it finally happened. So that's cool. And um, yeah, we have some really, really good rookies in this class. Wadsworth and Johnson should be impactful for us. Like that cornerback group is nice. Our whole secondary is solid for sure. So let's go out and uh, win some games. Okay, so two and five. Why? The Redskins are six and one. The Eagles are six and two. What do they have that we don't? I mean, I am I'm so annoyed by this consistently. Just they've got a decent team. I'm not saying they don't. It's certainly decent. Our team is way better with the Redskins. Way better. Why are they outperforming us? I don't understand. If someone maybe can explain it to me, and uh, if your explanation to the Madden Sim Engine is terrible, I might have to agree with you. Because there's no way any team is even close to as good as this. They, they're just not. So we beat uh, the Broncos 28-0. I need to see what the 6-2 Redskins overall is. 81, maybe? 77. It's not all about overall, Bengal. It's about team chemistry. Shut the... F Dude, like, we should be winning more games. We're last in the NFC East. So, Chris Jones, Leighton Van Der Esch, and that's it return for the time being. Danny Trevathan, I mean, he was just supposed to be a bridge, and I think he's going to do the job perfectly. And uh, Melvin Ingram, he's 32. I don't really want to bring him back. Michael Gallup needs more salary. We'll get to that later. So obviously no playoffs were made. Finished 9-7. and seven, So turned it around a little bit. Wasn't enough because the Redskins at 77 overall went 13-3. and three. It disgusts me sometimes. It really does. Because what do, I, what do I have to do to win games in Sim? The team is good enough. As the Colts beat the Rams in the Super Bowl 24-21. Michael Gallup needs to come back. Melvin Ingram is out of here. He's down to a 77. Trevathan's down to a 71. He's out of here. Michael Gallup needs to come back, though. Uh, salary up. Gallup accepts. Welcome back. All right. So, free agency. We have some money. We have some goals. The goals would be bring in a talented edge rusher, perhaps. I mean, our, our offense is so insane. A better receiver... Would, would work well. Fullback, I guess. Whatever. We just need some depth at this point. I think Kamani Douglas can start at left outside linebacker and be fine, but could use a right end. Ooh, Johnson went up to superstar? Dude, we drafted him as a star, unless they patch that. No, he got superstar. That's incredible. He's a beast. Robert Johnson, stud. Wadsworth is almost to an 80. Yeah, we're looking good. I'll check. Oh, yeah, I forgot to check the stats. We'll do that, but season, another big disappointment. Dak was all right. Can't complain, really. Zeke was amazing again. Receiving, I might change the, nah, I mean, the offense is fine. I'm not going to change anything there. Defensively, might need to figure something out because something's not clicking with this squad. Demarcus Lawrence, 11 sacks. We finally had some interceptions for once. Usually it's like, yeah, six. It's like, that's not good. No defensive touchdowns. Awards, we have the 15th best offense. Maybe it is time for a change. You do use the Browns or something who are OP. Defense was ninth. I mean, we should have won more games. Joe Mixon won MVP. Okay, Zeke at three. <laughs> Joe Mixon. Uh, Zeke won Offensive Player of the Year. No, they're Cowboys. Defensive Player of the Year was Deion Jones. No, Cowboys. Offensive Rookie of the Year was Niles Rice. No, Cowboys. And then Defensive Rookie of the Year. Uh, Robert Johnson finished at 5th. It went to Roy Henson. Wadsworth at 7. Antonio Brown. Oh. Might have to. Might have to. I gotta. 
This whole extra reorder thing's pissing me off. Antonio Brown accepts. That's a pretty huge addition. Oh no. I just realized this was a realistic rebuild and I didn't use my draft class. Oh. This is just a regular rebuild now. We'll, we'll, we'll redo the Cowboys at some point. That's painful. Dude, this whole extra reorder is pissing me off. Get out of here. All right, we're in the draft. We pick at number 19 overall. Vikings suck in sim all the time. They have the number one overall pick. I don't even know what's available. I don't even know what I want. We'll find out. Edge would be cool. Leonard Curtis is okay. We're going to go with Nolan Dudley here out of Mizzou. Backup edge rusher, 70 overall. I mean, he's still first-round player. We just don't need any other position. Like, the team is rebuilt, if you want to call it that. The team is very, very good. We just got to win games. And, you know, that remains to be seen in the fourth. And what will be the final season, I can guarantee you, is Martin Bibbs was the next guy I was going to draft, who's a 70 overall as well. We'll go another receiver. John Sewell out of UCF, or Sewell. Eh. Yeah. Good draft pick there, but he's just a, a depth player. We're just going to simulate to the end of this one. Uh, I'm super upset. This is not a realistic rebuild anymore. Even though I, I took things pretty realistically. Whatever. It's just a straight up rebuild. We'll do them again. And a, we use real draft prospects. And I'm also annoyed because I didn't put in any of the Patreon guys. But they'll be in ones that are a rebuild that comes out tomorrow as I record this. Yesterday as you watch this, maybe? I don't know. It's quite a lot to to wrap your brain around. Number one overall player in the class was a tight end, Delroy Houston. I guess uh, O.J. Howard wasn't cutting it. Why would they take a tight end? Ken Wadsworth play right end. 80 speed, 87 finesse move? He might actually be able to. He's got that speed, though. We got depth at defensive tackle. We can make that work. What is your overall at right end, Damian? Tell me it's at least 75. Please. Please tell me. 79? Oh, we're golden. That's our new edge rusher. It's like Tyrone Crawford all over again, but he's younger. So, yeah, I, it was gross. I burped right there. Uh, team looks pretty sick. 89 overall. Can they be good, please? That'd be cool. Antonio Brown on here now. Eli Apple in free agency. I'm going to pass. I'm going to pass on that, believe it or not. I'm going to bring in Lamar Miller to be a backup running back. And we are going to simulate to the midseason mark to see how this team is doing. Hopefully winning. Frustrated receiver for Antonio Brown. Shocker. That's his shock of the year. Antonio Brown's frustrated. Wow. Amazing. <laughs> how about, fuck you. I don't give a shit. Antonio Brown, throw me the ball. Get open then. You 30-year-old washed-up freak. We're 3-0. and And I just came in Antonio Brown for no reason. Ah, there's a reason. Play for the team. We're going straight to the playoffs. Either we make it or we don't, and I cry. And you guys go, well, that was a waste of time. You might say that either way, but I feel like I've done my part. Please make the playoffs. Yes! 13-3. and That's what I'm talking about. Finally. Finally, we make the playoffs again. Let's see here. It started out hot. Oh my god. We were 12 and 0. And we lost to the Eagles in week 14, by week of course. Didn't exactly finish out the season very strong, but wow, 12 and 0. I like that. I like that a lot. Dak was, eh, you know, pretty Dak. Rushing Zeke was amazing. This is pretty much the trend of every one of these. Antonio Brown had nine touchdowns. He's probably pissed because he didn't get targeted 180 times. Offensive line held together pretty nicely. Jalen Smith was really good, as was LVE. Damian's, Damian Wadworth, I can't even say his name, off the edge was incredible. At 13 sacks, Demarcus Lawrence had nine. Interceptions, we have three for LVE. Byron Jones as well. Bunch of force fumbles going on. The defense is finally playing well. No defensive touchdowns, as is uh, the usual. Fourth offense in the NFL as well as the second defense. Yeah, that's that's a 13-3 team, I would hope. Kareem Hunt on the Colts wins MVP. What is happening? Zeke at six. Uh, NFC Offensive Player of the Year is Russell Wilson. Zeke at two. 
Dak at 9. Defense player of the year, Bobby Wagner. LVE and Jalen Smith at uh, 8-9. and nine. Offensive rookie of the year is Raphael Lowe, a 67 overall something for the Seahawks. Torrey McKnight at 9. Defensive rookie of the year is Austin McAllister. And no Cowboys. So we're a 91 overall, 99 offense, 89 defense, playing with morale and all that stuff. So team is up a lot. Anything notable? Antonio Brown's playing up to a 91, so even better than when we got him, although he's not developing. That's just morale probably, right? Yeah, plus one. Um, maybe even went up with a skill point or something, but LVE 94. Johnson's up, Robert Johnson. Damian Wadsworth is up to an 83. He's proven to be a sick pick, even without superstar development. This team has what it takes. Go out there and prove it to me. Come on. Let's beat the Seahawks in the divisional. I'll super sim it. 91 overall to 79. So we know how this one goes. I lose by it. probably a lot. Seahawks, we're out to an early 10-0 lead, but finally we answer with back-to-back -to -back touchdowns, making it 14-0. Defense holding strong. Offense only getting stronger. Now 28-10 in favor of the Cowboys going on a 28-0 run. Just have to hold on here through the fourth quarter. 31-24. Please finish. Thank you. Cowboys win by a touchdown. The Seahawks are packing their bags and going home. Dak threw for 300 yards and four touchdowns. All career highs, I'm sure. Especially in the playoffs. If you know what I mean. But, um, boom. Two upgrade points for Zach Martin and Byron Jones. And we're advancing to the conference championship to face the Green Bay Packers. 79 overall once again. I mean, I'm going to build the best team in the NFL every time I do one of these, pretty much. It's just up to the team to actually win in simulation, and they usually don't like to do that. We were down by a bit, and then the team, as uh, they did last game, is just pulling away. I'm sure the Green Bay Packers are going to make it close as they score back-to-back -back touchdowns, and then probably another one. It's a one-touchdown game. 42-28 now in favor of the Cowboys. Green Bay scores again, but it doesn't matter. The Packers have been eliminated and the Cowboys are going to the Super Bowl. This is the team headed into the Super Bowl. A few upgrades here and there. Prescott up to an 86. I mean, Lamar Miller is making an impact. Everyone is up across the board. Morale is at an all-time high. The defense is balling out. Wadsworth now has superstar development. Is up to an 85 overall. Damian Wadsworth, go off. Go off. The team is ready ready as they'll ever be to face the Indianapolis Colts in the Super Bowl. Let's get after it. They are an 80 overall, by the way. One fewer win than we had on the season. Indianapolis strikes first, but we got right back in it. Now tie things up at 14. About to head into halftime. Indy is stopped. But they're uh, not going to be held out as it is 17-14. Big game in the fourth quarter. And they score... A touchdown. That's actually really tough. And do we give the ball away? No, no, they just scored. That's really, really frustrating. Down by two touchdowns. We'll see if the Cowboys can bring it back. That's a big gain. That's another huge gain. The Dallas offense is moving, and the Dallas offense scores very quickly. A minute and 31 to go. We're going to hop in and try to make a defensive stop. Second and one. They have three tight ends out. We got to go goal line and just try to stop this at any cost run commit middle whatever it takes Poe is on the field up it's a run we got to get the football here I'm, I'm spamming r1 he's like ah, i'll tackle him i'll wrap up that's all that's the super bowl it's over now fumble fumble and then jalen smith grabs a face mask that is surely the game unfortunately go for the ball not his face mask <laughs> so the rebuild here is going to end on a somber note as the Colts go into victory formation and win their first Super Bowl since Peyton Manning in 2006 I want to say they beat the Bears it might have been the 05 season but uh, that is going to do it guys thank you so much for watching I hope you enjoyed and I will see you in the next one take it easy Yeah.